update for you now on the construction project that is years behind schedule, and it also includes a major traffic note. ABC 21's Corinne Rose brings us the latest on the progress of the pedestrian bridge over Coliseum Boulevard that connects the campuses of PFW and Ivy Tech. It's just been under construction for ever. I don't think it's ever going to stop. Construction on the pedestrian bridge connecting the campuses of PFW and Ivy Tech was supposed to be complete in 2018. However, work continues and will restrict lanes of traffic overnight Monday into Tuesday and possibly again Tuesday night into Wednesday so the contractor can access lighting equipment underneath it. When you're driving out there on Stair Road 930, you will actually see the bridge um, lit up, uh, you know, up through the tower. Um, but then there's also going to be lighting that uh, lights the walkway across the bridge when you're using it. He says the bridge is supposed to open at the end of the month, but with the project so far behind schedule, people we spoke to said they'd believe it when they see it. It's been going on for a couple of years now because I've, I've been here the whole time. So uh, I don't know a lot about what it's going to offer. Um, I know the idea is to connect the two uh, campuses, um, but I'm excited to see what kind of new opportunities there are. It is a really long time. I think I probably, if I was taking classes over there, I would have used it if I needed to. I think it's really hilarious. It's been like being built for like a long time as far as long as I've been going to school here, they've had it. My dad said something like, oh, that's still going to be under construction by the time my brother graduates. The bridge's initial $4.5 million cost has no doubt ballooned after testing performed several years ago showed problems with the tension cables supporting the weight of the deck. There was actually some inconsistencies with the testing with the cables. So our INDOT engineers um, came up with a pier structure that they placed on the underside of the bridge. Um, so it's a little redundant, but it's just to make sure that the structure is overall safe and ready for use. He says INDOT will address cost overruns once the bridge is finally opened, perhaps in about two weeks. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. In lanes of Coliseum Boulevard will be restricted again next Monday so that a contractor can repair the concrete curb line of the lane closest to PFW. That work could continue for two weeks but is not expected to impact the opening of the pedestrian bridge.